the matching principle tells us when to record expenses. And just like we saw with the revenue recognition principle, it's not necessarily when cash changes hands. The matching principle states that expenses should be recorded and recognized when those expenses can be matched with the revenues that the expenses help to generate. Let's go back to the example of Jason's Bakery and I'll show you how the matching principle is typically applied. When the bakery was first opened up, a cash register was purchased for $7,000. That was a lot to spend when the business was starting, but the cash register was needed and it was expected to last for several years. Now, it wouldn't be helpful to record a purchase that cost several thousand dollars as an expense in the first year while the bakery was just beginning to generate income. It would make the business look like it performed very poorly that year. It's better instead to divide the cost into years, if not months, for greater accuracy. These smaller portions of cost get recorded each year rather than the entire cost being dumped into the first year of the business. Let's say the bakery takes in an average yearly revenue of $10,000. Putting the entire $7,000 expense of the cash register into the first year could easily scare off potential investors. But with the matching principle, only $1,000 would be expensed that year and each year for the first seven years of the business. And this is the purpose of the matching principle. It paints a more realistic picture of the business's operating performance on the income statement. So to recap, the matching principle states that expenses should be recognized and recorded when those expenses can be matched with revenues, the revenues that those expenses help to generate.